Hey guys, I'm back. I am going to be doing a resin geo tray. Um, right now you'll see me spraying my resin tray and coasters with 99% alcohol. I just want to make sure um, there are not going to be any bubbles um, on the bottom layer. Uh, the resin tray I purchased from Amazon, it came with a set of gold handles and the screws to screw them in. Um, so right now you'll see me separating my cups. Um, this is a custom order, so she requested white, uh, navy blue, a pale pink, and gold. Right now you'll see me using, it's called iridescent medium. Um, it's literally a medium that you can put into paints, inks, um, it adds an iridescent, like glossy, shimmery kind of look. So I'm adding that into the resin, the clear resin I have there, and adding crystal glitter that I purchased from Amazon as well. Um, just mixing that in first. And don't mind me, resin police. Please don't attack me. I know I'm supposed to be wearing a respirator, respirator mask. I have on gloves. Um, but definitely if you're doing using resin, please use the mask. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, I'm just making sure that my resin is completely mixed. This was a one-to-one -one ratio. So um, it's moss epoxy or tabletop epoxy. Um, so I mixed it for one to two minutes and I believe it has like a 25 or 30 minute work time. So definitely trying to make sure I get everything done before it starts to cure but right now I'm just separating the resin into the separate cups um, I have the most resin for my white and then the least for my gold and then blue uh, my navy blue and pink are about the same and I keep a little bit of clear resin in my mixing cup just in case I run out of a color that I need more of so I can just refill and keep it going also to help me secure my geode. And there are multiple ways to do these trays. I've done a couple, they all come out really beautiful. Um, so recently I took a course, um, her name is Dianca Pores on YouTube. Uh, she's a, an amazing artist, amazing resin artist. And um, in her course, she explains um, how to do like a resin painting in which she sh she secures the crushed glass first lets that dry overnight and then comes back and attacks it with like the resin and all the other you know fancy things um so i'm working it like that in the past i've made a tray um, by putting a coat of clear resin on the bottom and then pouring my colors and then doing the crushed glass so kind of the opposite end and it still come out really beautiful so it's whatever you prefer I always like to try new techniques to tweak them and see what works for me best so um, you'll see me using um, it's like an acrylic paint pink that I received from Walmart I mix that with a pale pink I think it's called a portrait pink a pigment um, by Liquitex from Michaels I have opaque pigment and white uh, that is from Etsy and then we have what I'm doing right now is a navy pigment paste it's like a goo this is my favorite my absolute favorite like pigment ever um, this and I have another color like for the pigment paste it's just it's amazing it's so rich um, this is from Etsy and when I purchased that navy and another color from Etsy they sent this gold pigment powder that you'll see me using um, that's another favorite of mine too. It's really rich um, and you really don't need too much. It's lasted me at least four months now um, and I use it a lot. So I put all my colors in there. Now you'll see me mixing each cup um, and make sure you mix really well. You don't want to have like those pigment streaks in your tray. mixing with my little baby popsicle sticks I hate these things I got them from um, Michaels and I thought it was a deal I was like oh they give you more than I've gotten on Amazon and I had the huge ones from Amazon so 
when I got home and opened the box and realized there were these small little popsicle sticks, I was pissed. But I was like, I don't like returning things, especially to my favorite store. So I'm just going to use them. So I have my little baby popsicle sticks. I'm mixing all my colors. Especially make sure that you mix um, the acrylic paint resin cups the most. I mean, if you're going to judge it by that because... I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you're not really supposed to use acrylic paint. Like, I feel like that's me being dangerous. But <laughs> um, I use it because they're more opaque. Um, the alcohol inks give off like a translucent kind of effect. Like, they're really sheer. And I like the colors to show like prominently. So I definitely use, I use acrylic paints all the time. Um, they do speed up your work time so where I probably would have had about um, 30 minutes with you know alcohol inks or clear resin with my um, acrylic paints I you know it chops it probably down by a, a good 10 minutes or so um, so you can do up the work pretty quickly so the technique of using again is um, from Dion Kapoor's on YouTube that's me showing you my hole in my club I'm such I'm just a mess um, but the technique that she uses is basically like I said she secures the geode first and then she'll wait overnight and complete the rest you know start pouring the rest and attacking the rest of the pieces of the tray or you know her painting um, so I sort of did her technique for this where I secured the geode without any you know any resin on the tray yet it's just the mold itself I'm laying out how I want um, the crushed glass to show so I'm using two different crushed glass versions crushed glasses crushed glass versions um, I'm using the I have bought like fire pit crushed glass from Walmart and they're like huge chunks so that's what I laid down first and then I went back over it with Michael's crushed glass, which is significantly smaller. So the Michael's kind of fits into all those gaps that the big crushed glass missed. Um, and it works well together. I think the Michael's crushed glass has a shinier, like sparklier shimmer than the chunky one, but I like them both. I like using them both too. I looked for this Michael's crushed glass for months. Um, I contacted the customer service like I was I was on it because I could not find it anywhere and finally I found it about an hour and a half away from me so I bought all of them off the shelf so I'm sorry whoever's in Elgin I bought them all um, and now you'll see me drizzling the resin over my geode you don't want to pour your resin over um, I mean you can if you want to but honestly it kind of floods and dulls out your shine so drizzling the clear extra clear resin that you have aside um, is a little bit better it, it looks definitely sparklier that's me and my dance and now I'm going to outline um, the geo that I made with gold and usually this is like a next day step for the technique um, that I was following but again I'm kind of tweaking it to work for me <laughs> so um, I went ahead and just outlined it in gold. You'll probably see me outlining it a little bit later too in gold. Just kind of not only going around the geode, but I am putting it on some of the crushed glass pieces too so that it's blending in pretty well. I don't want it to look like I just like outlined um, the glass. And ignore the fact that I have like five projects on my table. I am a night owl so I work best at night and I just get them all done. Um, so now I'm going to start the pouring. I am pouring the white first um, and I know the customer requested, she requested the navy, uh, pink, gold, and white. So the navy, pink, and gold are accent colors um, but to make sure that it's not being overpowered by all of those colors, I do use a good amount of white, which is why I had the most resin in that one. Um, so I'm just filling in the tray, beginning with the white first, and then we're gonna go in with the pink. Uh, when you lay colors on top of, you know, one another, they kind of fight over who's, I guess, who's 
more prominent so um me having that pink over the white it's going when i blend it out with the heat gun you'll see what happens how it blends out it kind of looks wispy so i'm just adding the color all over the navy is a very rich color um, i guess because it's a pigment paste um, so i tr really tried to keep the use of it minimal because honestly a little bit goes a long way so i'm just trying to keep navy and keep it balanced on the tray i don't want it to show just on one piece or you know in one section so i tried to make sure that i was showing everywhere so i'm pouring right over the white and that um that navy makes really good cells like um cells are it's when a color breaks through over another so that's like again with the fight <laughs> the fight of the colors um and the blue it makes it makes really good cells over other colors so it comes out really well you'll see me bouncing back from the train coasters because i do want to make sure that these are looking like a set um so i'm pouring you know i don't want to pour in that uniform way you'll see me pouring in like different angles and different styles i'm just trying to make it look cohesive and so the coasters there are four coasters and then there's one interlocking piece that connects them all so i'm making sure to pour the colors over all of that I'm just pouring again all of the colors over. Getting the pink in there. And me pouring in these kind of weird ways and just kind of everywhere. Um, it'll look much better when I heat gun them out. It'll have like this marble effect. And now I'm going over with the gold. The gold is pretty powerful too. Um, so I try not to use like too much of it doing thin streaks. You'll see me re-outlining that geode again. And then heat gun. So first I try to heat up the resin so I can pop all of the bubbles that may have um, been on there. And then I also want to heat it up so it's easier to move around. I love the effect of that navy, like how it's pushing the other colors around. So I had more clear um, and I felt like there was a lot of navy in that tray so I wanted to add more white so I just added more clear resin into my white cup and then more white pigment and make sure you're stirring really well um, to make sure that there are no streaks so I'm adding white to my coasters as well um, there were some pieces that weren't covered at all in resin some piece of the mold white to my tray I'm going over that navy to, just to make sure that everything is balanced out adding some more gold so really with the tray it's about layers yeah that initial layer is important but you also need to worry about what happens on the top layer too and even in the middle so you want to use your heat gun a good amount um, to blend out those those lines so they're not so harsh blur them out but you don't want to use the heat gun too much where it starts to mix the colors together and they create like a new color especially if that color is not the prettiest i'm adding the leftover pink that i have i am a believer of using all of my resin i am not going to waste anything there will be nothing left in my mixing cup i will use all of it it's expensive so i took off my gloves to do some of the like finishing touches so basically i'm adding some more of the michael's crush glass the smaller um, pieces on top of my geode i feel that sometimes your crush glass after you pour resin can get sunken in um, sunken into the, the piece and lost and so it loses some of its sparkle so that's me just adding some more crush glass to the top I'll drizzle some more clear resin over it. I found a little piece of fresh glass in my tray, so I took it out. And then I had gone to find um, my cubic zirconia little diamonds. Um, I 
purchased them, I think it was a pack of 20, 20 or 30, um, it could have been more, but they're so tiny, I purchased them from um, Amazon, they're an assortment of sizes, um, so that's me just securing my geode, trying to drizzle the resin over those pieces that I had just added, and then you'll see me um, adding a few of the cubic zirconia and just random places to add some more sparkle. I gave up on those little popsicle sticks. I'm adding a few pieces and just random places of the tray. Well, the you? They're clear cubic zirconia, so they don't have like a silver back or gold back or anything. So it does look like a little fake diamond. It's really cute. It's my little dance. That's me telling myself that I'm done. I'm lying to myself. I'm pretending that I'm done and I'm not. Um, and that's me with a lot of projects. I I'm definitely a perfectionist, so. I will keep going, keep trying, keep adding things way after the fact that I should have been done. Um, so that's me pacing, seeing if I'm actually done. And I'm like, oh, I have resin left. Let me use the rest of it. I may as well. So I added the, some white pigment into the rest of that um, mixing cup. And I'm going to mix that up and add that to my resin tray, I believe, in the coasters. Just kind of drizzling it in places that seem they may need it. And I'm just heat gunning those harsh lines out that I created with the white, making sure everything is well blended. I told you guys I don't waste resin, I use every bit. told you this cures really fast um, this cured or got I guess it hardened um, in about it had to be maybe two hours an hour and I was still awake so um, this is usually the next day that you would do this part but since it already hardened and I was still like energized I went ahead got my gold and white acrylic markers and um, I began doing the line work so basically the line work is creating some interesting lines um, that, you know, allow the audience to move along the piece. It just makes it look interesting, um, adds a little bit of character to your tray. So, uh, and in geodes, I believe there are these kind of like lines, usually it's um, like lines of layers of rock. And so we're adding our lines. And my normal, um, I, it's, I think it's Krylon, Krillin, uh, 10 karat gold marker ran out of ink. So I'm using this paint marker I received from Michaels. It's much thinner than what I'm used to, so you see me trying to thicken the lines. And so when you're using the acrylic markers, um, you don't necessarily have to follow the colored line. Like you don't have to follow all your gold resin with the line so you'll see me as you see just now kind of going throughout the navy going along the white through the pink that makes it interesting so be creative with that piece um, and then next is white i love using white i think this pulls everything together when you use the white um, to make sure that the ink is ready to use you have to kind of push on the the tip of it so that's what you've seen me doing and you can see the lines that I created with white um, so this last piece again <laughs> this is probably the next day that I was should have been doing this um, is I mixed resin with a lot of glitter like a lot so much so that it created almost like a paste it's pretty thick I put it into a syringe as you've seen like this and I outlined the gems the geode so that is me um, 
just doing those finishing touches and so lastly what I did on the tray is I covered it with um, not the geode but just the actual tray covered it with a, a clear coat of resin and then I went back over that once it dried with more acrylic markers over the same places that I created the first ones so now it looks like um, it has some depth uh, looks 3d almost really cool but this came out really good um, I'll be doing more tutorials but thank you so much for watching bye guys <laughs>